All right, hello third grade. I hope that you are excited to do a very special winter project since we are at that time of year. So in order to start on this project today, you'll need a piece of white paper. We'll be adding some watercolor on here eventually. So if you have some paper that's a little bit heavier, that's super helpful. And then a pencil and eraser as well. Later on in the project this week, you'll also want a uh, Sharpie would be good. If you don't have a Sharpie, just use a black Ran. All right, so everyone, I'm going to show you how to do this drawing. So it's actually going to be of a person catching snowflakes on their tongue. So their head is back, um, their mouth is open so that they can catch snowflakes. You can personalize your drawing a lot with what they're wearing, um, like a scarf and everything like that. So let's get started. All right, so the very first thing that we'll want to do near the top of the paper, but with a little bit of space still, we are going to draw an upside down U shape. This is going to be your person's nose. All right, so after you have that part, we're going to go down either side. And I have my meeting narrowing a little bit right here so that can be the person's chin if you just find it easier to round this on the bottom that's totally fine all right so inside of this space we're going to do a larger rainbow shape and then we're going to connect the bottom together all right so we're going to do one curved line and another curved line. This is going to be the person's tongue. And then up here at the top, you can make a line across and then we're going to divide that up into a couple teeth. Okay, so here we have your person's head. We're gonna have our person wearing a scarf. So underneath right here, you wanna kind of pretend that you're drawing a donut like this. And then we're going to do an even bigger donut underneath like this. All right, so that's like you have the scarf wrapped around your neck twice. Now, after you do that, we can have the ends of our scarf coming down. I like to have one coming down. And then sometimes it's kind of fun to have one blowing up next to the person like this. Okay, don't worry, we're coming back to the hair. I know you might be thinking, but my person is bald. We'll get there, don't worry. All right, so on either side of the scarf, we're going to draw a line that goes all the way down to the edge of our paper. It's gonna be our person's shoulders. And then down here, we want to show the space between the body and the arm with just a little V shape on either side. All right, and then for the hair. So of course we all have different hair that we want to draw. Um, boys, you might want to draw some hair that kind of comes up like this. I know it might be a little bit longer than what you actually have, but that way we can have it look as though uh, your person has some hair. All right. Um, so, of course, for longer hair, for girls, you can always draw hair coming down, either straight or in waves. If you would like to do something fun, like a braid coming down the side, you can certainly do that too. All right, now here's a chance to add some other fun details. You can add a pattern to both the scarf and also to the jacket or sweater that your person is wearing. If you'd like to make it look more like a jacket, you can always draw a line going straight down um, to help it look like there's a zipper going down the, the middle. So I'm going to add some patterns onto my person's clothes right here and I'll meet you back in a second. 
All right, so I added a pattern on both the scarf and also my person's jacket. So I am going to move my pencil and eraser off to the side and I'm going to start with my Sharpie. Now again, if you don't have a Sharpie at home, that's okay. But since we're gonna be adding watercolor, I would outline with a black crayon instead. If you use a black Crayola marker, it'll actually wash away with the watercolor and we definitely don't want that to happen. So the last step that you can take this week is just to go ahead and outline and go over all of your pencil lines.